welcome to another exciting video in this one we'll be looking at how we can query data from superbase using our next js application so here we have our lesson table created and here we have our next js app that we created in previous lecture now the first thing that we need to do is install superbase library in our project for that we'll be executing this command npm i at superbase slash superbase dash js now once that's done we'll be creating a file called env.local this is going to store the url and key from superbase so here we have defined the variables now let's assign values as well we'll be heading over to our superbase project and under settings we'll go to api and here we'll be first of all selecting this project url and we'll be coming back over here and we'll be assigning this URL over here. Similarly, we'll be taking the key and this is the anon key that we have. We'll copy it and we'll be pasting it over here in our env local file. Once this is done, we will head over to the table editor and here you can see our previous table is coming up. Once you select that table, you'll have this add role level security policy and once you have enabled it you'll be presented with this auth policy so auth policy is required and here you can see that we have our role level security enabled and along with that we have also applied this enable read access for all users and you can apply a new policy by clicking on this new policy and then you have these get started quickly full for customization and try new superbase assistant for rls policies so what we have done is we have gone to this get started quickly and here you have these templates available since ours is a public table we have enabled read access to everyone and this is the policy and this policy is currently being used to return data from the table that we have created we have other policies as well like insert update delete and insert access for users based on their user id but for this lecture this policy suits our needs and that's what we are using so once we have enabled rls and added a policy we are good to go in our code and implement the necessary changes so here what we have done is in our superbase.js file which we have created inside the utils directory and if you notice the hierarchy we have this utils directory created outside the app directory within that we have this superbase.js file created and what we are doing is we are importing the package superbase superbase.js and we are making use of the create client module now create client basically creates the client instance of superbase using the url and key that we have provided from the env.local file once that's done we go to this page.js file and we are now importing the superbase file from utils directory and here you can see that we have added n number of logs over here just to see the way these things are executed the first thing that we're doing is we are logging and saying fetching data from superbase and then if you notice over here we are making use of superbase.from and then we are providing the name of the table and then we are saying select all the columns once that's done we are then logging the data fetch successfully message and then we are saying a rendered component with the data if you see within this the return that we are writing it's basically iterating through the data that we have received and we are treating each one of the inserted rows as lesson and we are saying okay print the title over here and in case there is any error we are simply saying fetching failed and finally we are exporting the default now here you can see the application is running and if you notice this is the record that is being returned and here you can see that we are getting the output learning superbase that's the first record and the only record that we have right now in our lesson table but it shows how we have been able to connect to superbase table and retrieve the records from a given table